Oh, there he is. Everybody give Jim a big hand here. He's been helping me out all day. Thanks, Jim. We tried to get Vanna White. She wouldn't work with Paul. Ignore him. Okay, I'm going to take this off here in just a second. One thing you'll notice about my flying this, it's not going to be erratic. It's not going to be yanking and banking and showing off like I can do with the other ones. This aircraft has a lot of power. It is a very stable aircraft. I don't have any GPS signal in here, so I'm going to be flying at 100% manual. But I'm going to take it easy with this aircraft for obvious reasons. Uh, we'll show you some of the features and functions. Let's get it in the air. right off is the power this aircraft has. You got those eight motors that are all flying, they're all keeping it perfectly stable. The flight control systems, all three are working to keep it upright, facing the right direction and stable. I am flying it 100% manual, there's no GPS signal, but as you can see it's a very, very stable aircraft. I'll take it up a little higher, and what I'd like you to look at is the camera and the image, specifically the camera. What we're going to take a look at here is what's called the gimbal. As I move the aircraft back and right, the aircraft moves but the camera stays stable. That's due to what's called the gimbal. If the aircraft has to react to a gust of wind, or if you need to move the aircraft around, you do not want the camera moving around with it. That's all due to the quality of the commercial grade gimbal. Now a little bit more about the camera. I have full control of it here. And up. Down. And of course, right now we're in optical mode. Let's say I'm doing some kind of inspection or some kind of search and rescue mission, as we talked about with the swimmers out in the ocean. Well, then I'm going to show and switch to the infrared capability. Now, not only do I have infrared capability on the aircraft and on the camera, but I have six different spectrums. And while you're in flight, You can swap through the spectrum, whichever one works better for you. For example, if you're inspecting a bridge, you might need the blue-green spectrum. If you're in a search and rescue, you might need the red spectrum for body heat. Let's say I wanted to inspect up underneath the bridge. The aircraft, the camera will go to 90 degrees. And now I can get a good look at that light and I can see where the heat is escaping, where there's air coming in, if there's air flow through going through there. Very, very powerful tool. Now I can switch back and forth between infrared and optical. Anytime just by pushing a button. Another thing this aircraft has that no one else does is what's called the hot swappable batteries. The two batteries will make it fly for about 25 minutes, depending on wind, payload, and everything else. There's two batteries in there. When the aircraft lands, I can take one out, put a new one in, take the other one out, put a new one in, without having to turn the aircraft off. That saves a lot of time for commercial use. As you can see, it's very stable. I'm still having to fly it, it's a very, very stable platform for the camera, whatever sensor you have. And one more time, we'll take a look at the crowd. Switch to infrared. Go back to optical. Down. OK, 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Falcon Intel 8 Plus, excuse me, Intel Falcon 8 Plus, they've set the new bar. There's nothing that really comes close to this competitive wise. As a commercial drone, I don't see anything that will come close for quite a few years. I'll be around here if you'd like to take a look at it or have any questions. Anybody else in the blue shirts, please ask us anything audiovisual about drones. Don't forget to put your business card in there. We got free beer at 4 o'clock, and that's it. Thanks very much for attending the demonstration.